there's this building. I remember this building with a cross. Tiny, big enough for a few people. Wild on a hill. Here, I find myself on the same hill in the wilderness with the sounds of the highway just below. This graveyard is lost. It is forgotten, resonant of the time it came from. I carry a small spade, a plant, and some seeds. I can't find the soil. The tombstone is a distant memory, raw rock with a tablet embedded in it. I lift one of the innumerable fallen stones, one leading to another and another, and I'm not sure which way the tombstone faced before, where the grave is now. Am I standing on it? I am lost. She is. Let me start with the facts. When I was eight years old, my mother was killed, shot in the back of the head, execution style, in a remote place I'd never seen. She was missing for two weeks before her body was found in the bush, shaded by aloes and red earth. She was found by young cowherds who had wandered off a rural road. These are fragments I know. This is what I've been told. These are facts that I've known since I was a child. No one knew who did it or why. At least that was the official statement. Now, that wasn't important to me until I found this box the box contained letters to Amnesty International, police reports, murder diaries, strangers studying her death, and as a reference, her life, getting deeper and deeper into the unknown, the nothingness of nothingness. I, it may seem sordid, for me to be so interested, engrossed in the murder reports of my mother, but it did serve as a catalyst for something else. See, my mother was killed in 1993, during those murky in-between times in a forgotten part of the country. Her death was one of thousands of unfortunate but acceptable losses, an estimated 14,000 deaths during our lauded transition. Losses we encouraged to forget, hidden from our collective memory. A social amnesia in favor of what? I came across a word recently, palimpsest. That's what my memory feels like. Partially erased and written over. Erasing pain to write a new story. But the indentations remain. Badly overgrown on the far side. Graves lost in seas of grass and shrubs. I remember traveling far as a child. I remember the shoulders. I remember the yellow flowers. 
I remember searching for her then. Now again, I search for her. Searching the overgrowth with tombstones at its roots. Battling the bush as the hill falls away. Wading through grass, growing to my waist. And still, there are tombstones receding beneath nature's unforgiving erasure. 